<laughs> I missed Friday, did you? I know, I was sick, I apologize. I'm still kind well, of sick, but... I just have a cold. The old lady is tough. I know, I was afraid of getting her sick. <laughs> But uh -uh. you're impervious. I've uh -uh. been coughing my brains out for seven days. Well, I do sneeze, and I had a day where it was like a water faucet coming down. Well, I have a gravelly voice now. I think I sound sexy. Well, it's like if you can get it really down. <laughs> I know. I'm going to get to Debbie Moore, and then I'll be happy. The good old whiskey voice. <laughs> yes, it's marvelous. Yes, now, as for this business of using your vibrator with a partner, darling. Which is the big taboo topic. How do I use a vibrator during partner sex? Should I? Is he going to feel bad? Well, Why do we thing, care what I, they yeah, think? Because we have had centuries, and I mean centuries, yeah, you're right. of catering to men, of protecting their ego. God forbid you upset a man or make him feel badly, <gasps> oh, and no, as long no, as you no. like make him a sandwich and give him a blowjob, he's fine. Yep. He doesn't care. They don't care as much so as So make him do. a sandwich, <laughs> give him a blowjob, and then get out your vibrator. <laughs> I clearly remember the first time, this goes back to the 70s, of course. when I had a date. This wasn't somebody I had been going with, and we'd been having sex. And there was no way I was going to come. I couldn't come. No, it wasn't going to happen with And you him. start to get frustrated, and you're like, Ugh. Well, so I just said, excuse me a minute. I'm going to get my vibrator. And he'd never heard of such a thing. 70s. So how did he react? He looked at it. It was <laughs> it was the magic one. <laughs> Which is kind of a big well, you know, vibrator. So they think that you're going to put it inside your pussy. No, it's on the outside. <laughs> well, he, well, what did he know? You know, he goes... Well, if that's what you need, you certainly are never <laughs> going to be happy with me and that end of the evening. And I went, oh, I've got to figure out a way to do this. So so how did you do that? How did you figure it out? Well, I didn't date him anymore. So <laughs> the, next, the next person I started to date, I said, you know, I really like using an electric vibrator. And during he, sex? Yeah, and so, during partner sex. Mm -hmm. And so what I did, at first I just verbalized it. Uh -huh. And I said, I'm amazed at how so many men, you know, get so scared about that I said Hi. he said well I wouldn't you know I mean so you used it, a little reverse psychology yeah I wouldn't get afraid <laughs> so <laughs> vaginal penetration with the clitoral stimulation that's the magic winner oh <laughs> and, and once that they get it once they get it they go what what was the big deal? I've had men comment that they like it because they can feel the vibration when they're penetrating yes. you and it feels good. Yes, it feels good. I like the point you made before. What porn is to men, that's what vibrators are to women. Yes. Vibrators are yes. all porn. And if yes. you don't want us to get mad about your porn, don't get mad about our vibrators. Oh, that's a very good point. I read an article, some some gal wrote it in one of the, the magazines. You know, you guys have your TNA and you're always looking at chicks <laughs> and all that and your porn. And she says, I have my vibrator, that's my porn. So there you have it. It's it it does. I say it uh, it levels the playing field, and it creates sexual desire for women. Arousal precedes desire. We know that. So it you is. have to stimulate your genitals before you want sex. So women have a hard time disconnecting and wanting sex. Well, they think so it's, it's going to have this rush feeling come over me that oh god, I'm so hot. You no, know, <laughs> not until you touch your. Yeah, you have to get your hand down there and go, nom, 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 nom. and then you want it. Oh, now I'm interested. What I hear is that the, the really smart guys, they get it right away. They understand that the vibrator is his best friend. I love the story about the gal that she said when her husband comes home, he goes immediately over to the vibrator to see if it's warm. Oh, and if it is. Because it means that she used it that afternoon, he's going to have sex tonight. So... That's a positive that, you know, he's smart because he, vibrator will get, yes. begets more sex. A woman gets turned on easier. It's mm -hmm. not such a struggle. It's, it's just, it's a dream machine and you're it's a foolish. sex machine. It's a sex machine and we're all foolish not to take advantage of it.